So I recorded this review a couple days ago and I was just doing the editing and it sounded like I would have rather have been shot. I don't know what it was. Maybe I'd recorded a, a bunch of videos that day and that was later on in the session or if my unenthusiasm about the blaster really just showed through, which I guess preview, I don't like this blaster so let's just get into it. We're talking about the Nerf Sharp Fire today. The Sharp Fire is a single shot Springer pistol. And it comes, uh, I did this in the last video too, it comes all in this little package. This is a holster. It has a clip on it. You can put it on your pants. I mean, you can put it anywhere, but, you know, pants tend to be where people put holsters. Um, I won, uh, here, I'll step back so you can actually see me, huh? Bam, there it is. The only issue is that the whole thing comes up when you try to pull it. So maybe if I'm wearing, if I was wearing a belt... Uh, this will uh, function ideally, or if you have like a string to kind of keep it snug, you can pull it out and go to town with it. Now, I guess one thing that is good, it's super spinnable, but other than that, not a great blaster still, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So, let's, let's not talk about that for the moment, and this is, so here's the pistol. Maybe you're wondering what this orange, well, actually, here, let's do this. It's not in-strike compatible at all. Womp. It... I don't even know if it's elite, to be honest. It does not perform like one. Sucks. Anyway, uh, so this is the chamber. Or it's actually the slide that opens up the chamber. The chamber is where we would put a dart. Now you may be wondering, hey, this is a single shot pistol. This is a single shot where you open up a chamber and drop something in. That sounds like something that Cole would like. You're right. It does sound like something I would like. It's something I should like. But, and then... There's no safety, there's nothing else on it, and there's also not a whole lot behind it. I'm not certain what kind of spring is in it, but it just... Here. Yeah, you can see how slow the plunger is dropping it. It could be mine, I don't know. It could just be a lemon. Alternatively, I don't think many people like the Sharp Fire, mainly because it's not a super convenient pistol to use. Because you have to open up the chamber, you got to drop in a dart, and then that aside, like literally that aside, because I've made it very well known that I, w I would use a blaster like that, and that's nobody's business, if it performed well. Uh, the Predator performs better than this thing, at least in my opinion. And, you know, the silhouette is cool. It looks very sci-fi, very uh, Star Wars uh, looking kind of blaster. Um, admittedly, like there's the, the lump right here that goes to support the stock is a little awkward wow me trying to show this is awkward too like it kind of digs into your palm a little bit if you're a if you're a big boy like me uh and you know like it's not very super cozy holding it's a it is a strange angle i guess but i just kind of write it up as oh it's it's kind of sci-fi whatever um i don't mind too much now the rest of the stuff that I pulled off of this is not just a holster, it is also a stock. But you now have a little pistol carbine. Uh, it has a bunch of dart storage on it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There's not exactly a sling mount. Maybe this is the sling mount, or maybe that's they just got rid of a sling mount to have a belt clip. Alternatively, you can find loop a belt through any of these and kind of get to it. There are two points up here. Oh, did I say two? That's because you also have a barrel. It is also, again, not in-strike compatible. It just kind of clicks on, and there's that second one. Your sights correlate up here. That being said, now you have just a rear sight and nothing else on it. That doesn't matter because it's not that accurate. Because it's not it's not powerful enough for it to justify it being like this. And now you just added an extra four inches of barrel drag. Whoops. Maybe um, maybe if you put a K26, or maybe if I replaced the barrel, or lubed it up, or took it apart and saw saw that mine was a lemon, or there's a letter inside going. Cole, you gotta take this tab out to make sure this is a good blaster. I don't know. But the whole point of getting a blaster out of the box is that it should at least be pretty decent. And it's really not that that much. Now, it does have a better... It. I love the way this feels. I love the way it looks. I like the zeitgeist of late 19th century, early 20th century pistols in that like semi-automatic pistols, yeah, they were pretty cool by themselves, but a lot of them were issued with like a stock that was also a holster. 
and many of them also came in like naval configurations that had long barrels or interchangeable barrels so it could be longer so that you know all oh, like an artillery luger or a c96 or the four charge c93 or you know any of these uh pistols that were also carbines um so pistol also carbine so and then also that being said it's not really a falling block but it's definitely like a open chamber it's a single shot blaster why don't I like it? It just doesn't really perform well, and it just feels kind of awkward. If this was scaled up to be, like, more of, like, rifle length or something like that, um, yeah, definitely. And, like, also performed rifle. Actually, like, <laughs> speaking of rifle and how I keep swapping them around, if this was rifle and, like, that sized and, like, open, drop in a ball, bam, yeah, I'd like that. But, um, sadly, this is just a dart blaster. And not a great one at that. I did buy this retail. I think it was about $15 to $20. I can't remember. It was new at the time. And I remember being underwhelmed with it then. I was a little sad. Here's my warning. Don't. I mean, okay, that being said, if you like all of this, there are other blasters I think that can do it better. Hell, the recon's better. Uh, I mean, obviously the recon is not as such a tight package, nor does the holster turn into a stock. Or foregrip, I guess if you're really adventurous, you could use this as a foregrip. Now, that does not make this very comfortable to hold, but you could. Like, by all means, you really could do that. Look out behind you! Ah! Got it, don't worry, don't worry. This, even this thing took care of it. Um, but yeah, so I do like the way this feels. I mean, obviously, grip aside, this awkward uh, way that I'm holding this. And, you know... If you wanted a long single shot uh, uh, blaster, you could do that, and kind of it definitely feels pretty Star Wars at this point. But you know, that being said, the Sharpfire is not a super great blaster. Now they uh, the Modulus has kind of re-released um, the Sharpfire as the Ion Fire, I believe, and that one is in strike compatible. So I don't own one of those. So unless they overhauled it and made it better on the inside too. I don't see it being uh, that much better other than a pretty neat reskin. That being said, I do kind of want an Iron Fire just to see if I can like compare the two or anything like that. Obviously, like a lot of people don't like uh, the Iron Fire because there are other Instruct compatible blasters that do so much more and don't have to one shot, you know. That being said, that is my review on the Nerf Sharp Fire. If if you can thrift it, go for it. Stand in your truth. If you want to do retail, I literally cannot suggest this. Uh, there are much better for ways to use your money. Uh, I think technically I could have bought two kick and chicken sandwich meals from Zaxby's and I would have been happier with the memory that at some point I had eaten two more kick and chicken sandwiches than I had purchased this Sharp Fire. But I can use this mistake of mine, this, uh, uh, this, this this purchasing mistake that I made ages ago to warn the rest of you. That is the service that I'm trying to do here. And, you know, this is an energy I'm not very comfortable with having on my channel, but, you know, being, a, being that 90% of what I've done, 95% of what I've done is reviews, I can at least have something to tell you don't get it. Um... Hell, I'm not, I'm not even sure if it's thriftable. Uh, because that being said, there's no guarantee you get all the other parts. And if you're going to get a bad blaster that has a bunch of stuff that goes along with it to at least make it interesting, you might as well get all the other stuff that makes it interesting with it, along with it. Um, so that's my opinion on the Nerf Sharp Fire. Um, not great. So if you like what I'm doing here, please like and subscribe or share. Or if you have anybody, I mean, maybe, I don't know if I'll be that relevant for the Christmas shopping season, but because this blanche has been out for a while and I'm just now getting around to tell people to not get it. Um, Hasbro does a lot of great things and sometimes you got to have a stinker somewhere to show to show what we have to live with and where we can improve. Say we, I'm not part of Hasbro. But I'll leave my social media in the links down below. My brother and I also have a podcast. Uh, I'll leave that in the description down below. We'll have a new episode this Sunday. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See you.